I don't like how this guy over here looks. So we're going to remove some of these edges here. So select the weight map, rust, circle. Make a smaller radius and let's remove some of the borders, some of these edges. Now that's a little bit better. Okay, good time to save now before we do the transfer. So now we're going to pass all the information, the color, bump mapping, and the dents to the low polygon door. Remember, you press 8 to bring up the Explorer. Now we have the low resolution door. We don't have any color or texture material, so first thing we're going to do is to add a projection. So we go to Property, Texture Projection, XY. You don't see the texture projection because it's turned off, so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to turn that on now. We're going to use a tool called Ultimapper. With the low polygon door selected, we have both low resolution and high resolution doors. Now we switch to render, go to property, and select Ultimapper. Here is the property page and it asks for the high resolution object. So we're going to pick the high resolution door. By selecting the name of the file we want to create in the image format, we can create JPEGs. The maps we want to extract are the albedo, which, which is the color map, the normal map, which means the bump map in tangent and normal space. And then we're also going to get the occlusion map. For now, we're going to do a low resolution texture and we can do a high resolution quality texture later. So the computer is going to determine the distance between the high res door and the low res door. So I select compute and there you go, it computes. And then I'm going to select Generate. Now this time we are working in a low resolution quality, so it's going to go pretty fast. In a few minutes we're going to try the same thing, but in a high resolution texture quality. Okay, now it's finished, so I'm going to turn off the texture controls again. Now switch to Preview Shader Tree and then select it. We're going to hide the high resolution and select low resolution and then generate the OpenGL. So we now have the OpenGL and we have the detail we used. But I don't like how rough it looks in these spots uh, right over here. So we're going to remove the bump map from that part. We're going to get mental ray and then select create preview. Now we can see a render region. Selecting seven will give us the occlusion map, the color map, and the normal map. And we're going to remove these two guys from over here. We're going to get the high resolution and then general. Select door high res. Press seven for render tree. Select image two and remove the bump map. Okay, and generate is going to ask you for an overwrite. Now you say yes.
So we're going to preview, select high resolution, switch to OpenGL, and select create preview. We have one texture combining all our textures and we really have nice bump mapping. It simulates bump when our object is really low polygon. So we're going to do the same rendering of the high resolution door to see how the texture looks. Switch to general, change the number next to door high res, and you put that at 512, which is the highest quality. Make sure we have both doors and generate. Once it's finished doing the render, we can preview. So let's turn off the high res source. Right now, it still has to load the textures. So when you select create preview, it's going to switch to high resolution textures so we can see all the detail. Now we can also see the bump mapping, which is the normal map. These are the images it generates. We're looking at high resolution images saved off to the folder. So we can see all the layers combined together in a JPEG image with all the detail. And there we can see the occlusion map. We could also look at the normal map or the bump map with all of the detail. So I hope that you like this tutorial and hope that you'll keep working on the rest of the car. So see you at the next tutorial.